Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be going into more depth about Primal Groudon and Kyogre because uh, yeah these things are going to be crazy strong. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go over this here. Now I'm going to officially just say it. I'm going to Vegas. Okay I already posted on my Twitter. I've got everything all set up. I mean I've got the hotel right next to the spot so we're good to go. And when it comes down to going and having a little fun at night I'll be taking a Uber or something like that down to the strip. To have a few drinks with the fellas and ladies and you already know all right so let's go ahead and see what's going on here so it is going to be going down february 25th and february 26th in which i did get tickets for you better believe it both damn days now we're going to be getting a shiny jirachi as well i would assume everybody else is going to get it who did not get this ticket or is not attending this event later down the line we're also going to be getting special research tasks and you can pick between the different uh, metals, you got two different ones here for the Hoenn region, so whatever one you choose. Personally, I'm going to probably go with uh, Groudon. That's my boy right there. Although Kyogre is a beast too, there's no denying that. So folks, get excited. I'm ecstatic. You already know that I don't jump on these go and pay for a flight and hotel events all the time, but this is a little bit different. Kind of fell in love with Vegas. All right now, taking a look at the different biomes here. So it does say plus. We haven't been given all the details. And as we do go further down into the information for this, you're going to see some new shinies being released in which it's only indicating that they're going to be in eggs here. But again, you do see that plus. So I would assume they're going to be in the wild for the ticket holders. And we're going to be able to have higher chances for them to be shiny. Now, I did purchase the Raid Lover. I didn't go for the egg one. I mean, it's no problem. I could have added it on. But it's like, damn, Niantic, you really are starting to funnel a lot of money from your players for these events, for all these little perks, which is nice. You get the boost in the raids and everything for those raid passes. It, I did get the raid lover, get the two days. But I don't know. It's just, it feels a little weird on top of, you know, purchasing everything else to get there in the first place. So we are going to see these different biomes. And as we do go down here, you're going to see new shinies introduced. Now we don't see them initially on here for the first four Pokemon, but it does have plus. So that does indicate that we could potentially see those ones as well and not just in the eggs as we're going to see here. So for the raids, Chikorita, Tortic, and Mudkip, I, I could give a damn less about those. I'm not wasting a raid pass on that crap. All right, if you do, that's cool. Uh, as far as the Deoxys, I think I will be doing those. I'm going to be going for... Well, I, I mean, I'm pretty much set. I'm going to be going crazy on the pri Primal Groudon and Kyogre. That's pretty much it. Now, there was no mention of their signature moves. Precipice Blades and Origin Pulse. So, uh, don't expect those. But it'd be weird if we get these and we still do not have their signature moves which is just going to put them on the map we're going to look at how good they are right now oh as they are without any sort of signature move and they're basically toppling the charts essentially kyogre's a little bit down because it does have hydro pump those also have surf which could be great but they are going to be disgusting great and they look freaking amazing taking a look at the new shinies here so we got fully evolved masquerade uh cacnea that's, I'm thinking, it looks pretty stinking good. Torkoal, I'm liking that one. As far as the Relicant, eh, it's okay. Actually, no, what am I talking about? That's okay. That's like one of the best ones here. And then I do like that light green Tropius as well. You better believe I'm going to be going hard. I'm, I'm going to be taking pictures and all that stuff and hanging out with people, shaking hands and, and all that good stuff. I got some pictures from when I was in Vegas at the end of this video, so stay tuned to that. Just as a testimony that, you know, I'm going back, baby. All right. And then, of course, you have the unknown, which honestly, in my book, I know people like to hunt those, but I just don't care about these in the game. All right. Now, moving on to what you can see in the eggs here. So as you can see, you do have the Torkoal, Rillicant, and Tropius in those eggs there. But again, we did see a plus on each one of those biomes. And I'm going to say, yeah, they're probably going to be spawning in the wild for the people that are in that event quite frequently. So you're not going to just have to hatch eggs to get these here. Because again, I'm not a fan of all this paywall stuff. Even, you know, <laughs> it's getting a little bit crazy, right? Let's, let's see some good boxes for once. Don't give me that inflation crap for Pokemon Go. Because it's simply items they throw in a box. And they're doing fine over there. Taking a look at Groudon, where is it going to lie here? Essentially, it's going to be number one with Mudshot and Earthquake. This is the primal form, of course. Regular Groudon is kind of getting uh, pushed out of the first page because, well, you got all these Megas. Mega Garchomp at the top, of course, but we still do not have that. 
But when we do get it, it's going to be disgusting. But make sure you do have Earth Power because that's what it's going to take to be number one. Taking a look at the waters here, we do have Ash Greninja at the top, which is essentially, I mean, Mega Greninja. Okay, that friendship thing, I'm not buying it. All right, and then you have Primal Kyogre with uh, Waterfall and Surf. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. I was looking at the wrong one there. So it is going to be number three. Technically, Swampers outpacing it with Water Gun and Hydro Cannon. Yeah, that's going to be pretty damn disgusting. But with that said, let's go ahead and get into Mega Rayquaza because with Primal Groudon and Kyogre comes Mega Rayquaza, right? So it's going to have a max CP of 6,820 freaking 7. Attack, 389. Defense, 216. And Stamina, 233. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be crazy. It's going to be maintaining its types here. While Groudon actually is going to be picking up a Fire Typing. So, yeah, I didn't really say anything about that, but... Kyogre maintains water, straight up, Ky or uh, Groudon is going to be picking up fire, so it's going to be ground and fire. Extremely weak to water at that point, right? Mega Rayquaza is simply at the top, there is no if, ands, or buts. This son of a gun is going to be a killer, that is for sure. Dragon Tail and Outrage outpacing everything, I wouldn't say by a mile, because we do have my boy Shadow Salamance, and that's one of the reasons why I did make it, but then again, it is going down like a ton of bricks. Well, Mega Rayquaza is going to be able to take a hit a little bit better. And then you got Garchomp Mega as well with Dragon Tail and Outrage. Just so you can see the power. I mean, where, where, where's uh, Mega Salamence? It's coming, but it's not even on the list. And all right, so here we are, folks. Make sure you do hit that like button. This is me when I was last in Vegas, and I had an absolute blast. If I didn't like it, I wouldn't go back. And if you do want to help me out and support me a little bit more before this trip does happen, all you have to do is hit that like button. And I never say this, but if you want to share the video, that would be great as well. And it is much appreciated. Thank you for watching, and thank you to all my supporters. And I'll be catching you all next time. Take care. sunshine and rainbows it's a very mean and nasty place and i don't care how tough you are it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it you me or nobody is going to hit as hard as life but it ain't about how hard you hit it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward how much you can take and keep moving forward that's how winning is done Hey, so you're finally here. <laughs> Fantastic.